<laughs> what? Is he in there? Yeah, we need to go ahead and have him. Because of this concrete, we need to go ahead and have him push out. Mm -hmm. What? What? <laughs> so you already cut the inside out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Push on one individually. Put some strength in it, boy. They're obviously moving. Take this bottom one. Put some effort in, boy. Keep going. There you there go. There you go. Ali should come on out. Don't let any foam. Right. I guess one shattered earlier. Yeah, it did. Yeah, in the bag? Yeah. Hold on. I'll, I'll grab them. Just keep them there. Hurry up with those. These are trying to pull up. You could easily do this by yourself. You just have to deal with some broken glass. Possibly. All right, uh, Wyatt, push it, push it in the center. There we go. Got it. I got these ones. I guess they're just stuck together, so. When you measure these windows, you want to go from the outside here, from the brick to brick. I thought you had that. When you're measuring the new windows. Yeah, probably. Bone. That wasn't funny. <laughs> That's a real good, good straight cut there, buddy. Hey, don't wait to break. Hey, if you just just get in there with the pry bar here in the end, no, in the, the inside. It's not completely cut right here. Yeah, but if you pull over here, it'll rip that. Go ahead and get do the pry it. Bar. Grab your hammer and put your hammer right below that one. Just don't pull on that brick too hard. Or you'll, you'll mess that brick up. Pull it on the inside. I'm just keeping pressure on it. I need to keep pulling on it. Killing me. To the pry. So do I. Slice my finger on There you go. And then put the hammer right there. Yeah, or his dad yesterday. Yeah, we do have like eight in the truck. Yes. Got a straggler screwdriver. Windows out. Now we just gotta put one in. Plus. Right, what do you want? What about this? Uh, we'll put that in. Uh, after we'll put blocks in yeah, between there. Right here. Yes, sir. Yes. But we need to go ahead and get a chisel in here and start chiseling all this old <coughs> cock line off here. So then when we cock in the new windows. Chisel was in here. They're out. And the reason there is rock everywhere is because we're chipping down the slab. Yeah, that's all I need. But we had to grind down the slab today from where there was tile. So what better opportunity to, to do it when there is two holes in the side of the building to let all the dust out instead of all over the customer's house. So we're kind of multitasking today. It's been for the most part. No, look at it all. God. No, I'm just kidding.
mean they do they open? No, it's the where the vents are for the condensation. Ah. See those little vents at the bottom? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, hold on. Two and three quarters. Alright, come my way about an inch. Hold it. Go with the bottom right. Top right. Good right there? Yeah, take this up. Uh, bottom right. Yes, Alright, level it. Alright. So that one is done. I'll show you all the outside in just a second. We're starting that one. Now it needs to be spray foam with a can all the way around it for air and caught to the brick on the outside. Now it is installed. That's what happens when the window company order when you give them a measurement and they take a pulled her off but they didn't give them to us exact we're gonna put a small one by probably one by two at the top there which will hide any imperfections and then we'll caulk the rest of it went ahead and adjusted that window out a little bit more I needed to slide over just a little bit you just have to put a very heavy bead of caulk on the outside. I mean, when they brick these windows too like that, and then they put a two by six. Next time I'll probably just keep the two by six in there around it and then cut my measurement to it and then just put a bead of caulk there, but it's not per se the way you want to do it. So this is technically the right way to do it.